Start game now. Guess who's back? The pack is back, and today he brought with him Ms. Pac-Man for the Atari 7800 Pro System. It's a shame I don't have the box because it's some colorful, wonderful artwork. Here you just have the uh, black and white version, which looks very similar to the 2600 version with some slight alterations, including this one having a feather boa. Yep, that's right, the 7800 gets all the extras. Let's go ahead and pop the 7800 version into my Pro System and see how it holds up and compares to the 2600 version. Let's go to the game. Ms. Pac-Man was published by Atari and was part of the launch both in 1984 and the limited launch in Southern California and the general launch in 1986. It is a maze game for one or two players alternating. Now, while Namco now owns the right to Ms. Pac-Man and created the original Pac-Man, it was originally brought to the arcades by Midway in 1982. It's based on a Pac-Man arcade hack called Crazy Auto made by GCC. GCC would later design the Atari 7800 system and this version of Ms. Pac-Man as well, so the circle comes fully around. According to the manual, Ms. Pac-Man is trying to escape the maze to be reunited with her love, Pac-Man. The manual also makes it seem like the whole game is a theatrical stage play and Ms. Pac-Man is the star. It calls the maze a stage with escape tunnels that lead off stage and even calls getting an extra life an encore. I actually thought that this was very creative. Naturally, you use the joystick to control Ms. Pac-Man and you can get energy pills that allow you to eat the ghost. Now, going with the stage play theme, I guess she's just eating their costume, sending them back to the dressing room. Oh my. There are also various bonus point items that will bounce through stages depending on the level. For instance, there is a teddy bear icon. Yuck, really? A teddy bear? She's going to eat a teddy bear? That's like really disturbing. But there's a teddy bear icon that you can get for 50 points, cherries for 100 points, strawberries for 200 points, oranges for 500, pretzels for 700, apples for 1,000, pears for 2,000, and bananas for 5,000 points. Also, you can get 10 points for every dot you eat, 40 points for the energy pill, and you can also get various amounts of points depending on how many ghosts you eat in a row before your energy pill expires. So for the first ghost you eat on one pill, you'll get 200. The second ghost will get you an extra 400 points. The third ghost will add 800 points. And the fourth ghost will add 1,600 points, giving you a total of 3,000 if you eat all four before your energizer runs out. And after you get 10,000 points, you get your encore. You can also select different stages that you can start on based on the bonus items with the teddy bear being the easiest mode and the banana being the hardest and the other ones kind of fitting in the place where they are. So cherry would be next, strawberry, so on and so forth. There are four maze patterns in the game. Once you complete all four maze patterns, according to the manual, you will be given random fruit mazes after that. But I did not get that far. I'm not really that good at Ms. Pac-Man, though I do enjoy it. Graphically speaking, it's not arcade perfect, but I thought it was pretty close. And they fit the whole maze on the screen, which is nice rather than scrolling. And also it has the very cool intermission scenes that happen after the strawberry stage, the apple stage, and the second random fruit stage, which I don't think I've ever seen personally. Musically speaking, it's also not arcade perfect, but I thought it was pretty decent, with the sound effects being a little better than the music in my opinion. This is a family-friendly game, unless eating teddy bears is something you find disturbing. And to be honest, I kind of find it disturbing myself. On eBay, loose copies go for about $5 to $10. Complete copies went for about $13, and new copies go for about $20, and that includes the shipping. So would I recommend Miss Pac-Man on the 7800? Yes, it is an excellent part of the arcade game, and it's something I'm going to rank very highly. So where am I going to rank it? Well, at number one, I have Food Fight, and I'd rather play that. And at number two, I have Ninja Golf. But at number three, I have Dig Dug, and I kept on going back and forth with Dig Dug. And I think... You know, I'd rather play Ninja Golf than Miss Pac-Man, but Dig Dug just went below it, which I was kind of surprised because I'm a Dig Dug fan. So I'm going to put Ms. Pac-Man at my new number three spot. All these games are excellent titles for your Atari 7800 library. 
Thank you guys for giving me a part of your day. If you enjoy the Atari 7800, be sure to check out my podcast, the Atari 7800 Game by Game Podcast. You can find that on iTunes. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nose for Gamer. Take care, everybody, and be sure to grab that teddy bear.